Animal Kingdom Lodge, step into the heart of Africa with exotic animals, dazzling pools, and award-winning dining. But is this the resort for you? Find out today on Walt Disney World Adults Only. I'm Dan and you're watching Walt Disney World Adults Only. Today we're talking about Animal Kingdom Lodge, one of the deluxe resorts at Walt Disney World. This deluxe resort however has one huge difference. At the end of this video I'll be giving you my top tips for staying here. Before we start with our opinions, tell me in the comments below, have you stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge and what were your impressions of this resort? So here we go. So Animal Kingdom Lodge is unsurprisingly located in the Animal Kingdom area of Walt Disney World. This resort is designed like a traditional African crawl with a series of horseshoe curves which overlook four savannas. This resort is divided into two parts. The Jumbo House, which is the main resort, and then the smaller Kidani Village. Kidani Village is a DVC property which provides deluxe villas and includes kitchenettes. An important point for when you visit Animal Kingdom Lodge is to ensure that you get off at the right bus stop. So many people get this wrong. Animal Kingdom Lodge is home to over 200 animals and birds. There are a number of viewing areas around the resort, as well as cast members from the native habitats of the animals. And Animal Kingdom Lodge has four of the best restaurants in the whole of Walt Disney World. Quick Service, Namara, African Inspired Buffet, Boma, the East African and Indian inspired cuisine at Sanaa and the vibrant fine dining restaurant Jiko, the cooking place. On top of all this, they have a fabulous club level lounge, the Kilimanjaro Club, and two awesome pools. In terms of price point, this resort is expensive, but it is the lowest priced deluxe resort you'll find at Walt Disney World. Have you stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge yet, Taylor? personally haven't stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge, but on our last trip we did visit, explore and eat at Sanaa, which quickly became my favorite restaurant on Disney property. Though I think it's worth a trip to Animal Kingdom Lodge just for Sanaa's bread service, we're going to leave the full review of Sanaa for a later date, so make sure you're subscribed so you can see when we drop that video. So. Other than my favorite restaurant, Sanaa, I think Animal Kingdom Lodge is stunning. My husband and I were blown away by the details in absolutely everything from the floor and the furniture to the thatching on the ceiling inside the Jumbo House. It's incredible. And as a huge animal lover, it was great to be able to walk right outside the lobby to see giraffes and zebra and wild birds. It was amazing to see that and I'm really glad we got to experience that during our last visit. Now, all of that being said, I wouldn't stay at the Animal Kingdom Lodge if I were doing a one park every day, no time at the resort sort of vacation. And if I were to stay, I would 100% pay out whatever I needed to for one of those Savannah View rooms. I definitely don't think it would be worth staying there to end up looking at a parking lot, not for the prices. But if I were to do a split stay or a type of vacation where I have some days to relax and enjoy the resort, I would love staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge. I could see myself hanging on the balcony, drinking a coffee, watching giraffes walk by. That seems like a really good day. Though it's a beautiful resort, it is kind of far from all of the parks except for Animal Kingdom. So it can be kind of a trek to get to and from the resort if you're staying there full time. 
I can't see paying a deluxe price for a resort that's so far away that I can't pop back for a little siesta midday if I need to, if it's gonna be an opening to close all day in the park vacation. But that's just what I think. Dan, have you eaten at Sanaa? Sanaa? Yes, I have. Sanaa is absolutely gorgeous. As you know, Courtney, I stayed there last year. Have you ever stayed? Do you have any plans to stay there? Unfortunately, I have not yet stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Would like to. In fact, we've looked into it a couple of times, but just different factors steered us in other directions. But one day, we will book to stay there. One thing I really intrigues me about Animal Kingdom Lodge is having the option of the safari view. So like seeing the animals like out your window, how awesome would that be? There are a couple restaurants I would love to visit Animal Kingdom Lodge, have yet to do so, but they are on the list, both Sanaa and Balma. I plan to, um, in fact, I talk about it before I go to Disney, but I just never seem to make it to either one of them, but I will one day. Dan, it looks like you're the only one who stayed there. How was it? Would you stay again? Thanks, Courtney. I probably wouldn't stay there again, if I'm being honest, and I'll tell you why. I'll start by saying that I'm so glad that I got to stay at Animal Kingdom Lodge. It was a dream come true, and somewhere that I wanted to stay from the moment that I first visited. And it's somewhere that I will visit without fail, on every single trip. But I probably wouldn't want to stay there again. I didn't book a savannah room, and whilst I had no expectation to be able to see a savannah or any animals from my room, I did expect, for the money I was paying, to see something better than this. On top of this view, I could hear every single bus that arrived and departed from the resort. It's fair to say that I was genuinely disappointed. Let me talk briefly about the savannah view room, as this is quite important. So it would have been about £100 more or $120 more per night to have a Savannah View room, which obviously would have been lovely. But for £100 more a night, I could have stayed at the Yacht Club with access to the monorail, to the Skyliner, to the boat transportation and walking distance to the Boardwalk, Epcot and Hollywood Studios. If I was going to pay £1,400 more, then that would have been more important to me, especially seeing as you can see the animals for free just by visiting Animal Kingdom Lodge and going to the viewing platforms. So whilst I was disappointed with my view, I had got exactly what I paid for. And that is the point. I spoke to reception about the bus noise and they said they would try to move me during my trip. True to their word, they did. And with no expectation, I was moved to a partial savannah view room. Amazing. The view that I had didn't have many animals visiting, but it was more than I paid for. So I was really grateful. Sadly, it was love bug season. Let's talk about the love bugs. The whole balcony was covered in love bugs. You couldn't step outside onto the balcony as they were all over the floor. And as soon as you opened the door, they were trying to fly into the room. It was horrible. It was the same by the pool as well. As soon as you laid out, the love bugs targeted you. They were just horrible. I don't know if this was made worse because of the animals and the savannah, but this was the only place that I found love bugs during my trip. My next grumble was the buses. They weren't as regular as they needed to be when they were the only transportation option available. And being so far away from all the other theme parks, it was noticeable how much longer I was spending out of my day traveling. Popping back to the resort was far less convenient than on my previous trips. Lastly, this resort is so big. I was like a good 10 minute walk from reception, from the pool and from the restaurants. I didn't have such a long walk at either Port Orleans, French Quarter or at Wilderness Lodge although the exercise probably did me some good for the amount of eating I was doing. On a positive note though, my room was absolutely lovely. Really lovely in fact. And the staff were incredible and the resort was totally beautiful. It was wonderful just taking some time to explore the resort. There is literally so much to see. I ate in all four restaurants on this trip and as always, they were perfect in every single way. Overall, I'm so glad that I got the opportunity to stay at this resort. The animals are captivating and the savannas are stunning. For me, I absolutely will visit Animal Kingdom Lodge on every single trip, and I'll dine here too, but I'm unlikely to stay here again. Do you agree with me, or am I wrong? Please tell me in the comments what you think. I'd love to hear your opinion as well.
All that said, I do however have four tips for you. Number one, if you don't book a Savannah View room, do not have any expectation of any kind of view. You will have people telling you that you can request particular rooms and that they upgrade people all the time. Whilst both of these are facts, it doesn't always happen. Expect to get what you pay for, and if you get anything extra, then that's an incredible bonus. Number two, plan some time at the resort. Make sure you have some time to explore the resort. It is stunning and there is so much to see. Go and see all the different savannas, see the different animals on the different trails, and also go to the hot tub, the pool, and just explore the lobby. There's so much for you to see at the resort, so plan some time to do that. And if you're staying at Kadali Village, make sure you visit Jumbo House and vice versa. Number three, be aware of how big this resort is. If you have any mobility or accessibility issues, make sure you speak to the resort and request a room to be near to the lobby, as the walk is long. Number four, take some time to speak to the cast members. Many of them are from Africa and have absolutely fascinating stories to tell you. So take some time to speak to them. Tell us in the comments down below what you think of Animal Kingdom Lodge. Have you stayed there? Do you want to stay there? We want to hear it all. For now though, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video by giving me the thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss a video from Walt Disney World Adults Only. Please also share it with your friends. And if you're not a member of our fantastic Facebook group, please join today where we'll continue this conversation. The link is below. And remember, never grow up.